time to raise the stakes, so to speak. Well, uh, where shall I put this? Well, uh, where shall I put this? Well, uh, where shall I put this? Lumos. Inordinately clever friend appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Ashes Cat by Captain's Cat. I mean. Expelliarmus, you can't 
Just once, try seeing things from my point of view. of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. Were you worried I might not return? Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. Another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's going on. forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased this shop. I... Penny is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. That school would be better run by a Diracle than the likes of Phineas Nigellus Black. Officer Singer, 
I have some information you might be interested in. Ah, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. I... Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. Well, yes, she said she did, but I think you might have missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And, according to the house elf that came with the shop, she has done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, these are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Rebellion! Hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant. Cassandra, it's my understanding that you sold your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> oh! Should have known better than to do business with a wild student. <gasps> what on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? <laughs> ah, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. Incarcerate! You don't know what you're doing! Don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks for this. You can head back to the shop. Check on that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. Spoony little traitor herself! I should have known it was you! Silencio. Oh, and not to worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. 
Penny promises to work as hard as she can for such a kind new owner. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Penny never thought she would be given clothing and become a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop for you. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. But... All Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. I choose Vestas and Venom. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny, we'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. travels. Over here. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbours aren't home. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. 
I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Arranshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tribe Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station.